News coming in right now. The Alapuzha Kannur Executive Express caught fire at the Kannur Railway Station early this morning. It was stopped at Kannur Railway Station when the incident took place. One compartment fully damaged in the fire. The fire is likely due to miscreant activity is what sources are telling us. Now, based on the complaint given by the on-duty station master, a case has been registered by the GRP. A forensic team has in fact reached the spot. It's the same train that was involved in the Koiko train arson case where accused Sharuk Sefi killed three people inside the train. Shibi Mool is now joining us over the phone line right now. Shibi, what are your sources telling you as far as the ongoing investigation into this fire incident is concerned? Well, uh, following the investigation currently is based on what is the alleged link between uh, this Koriko train arson case and this latest incident because it was the same train that was involved. Uh, but again, there was no passengers inside the train. It was, uh, you know, it was stopped at the Kalu railway station right after uh, its journey. And it's in fact, uh, two or three hours after the journey only, uh, this, uh, this coach, particular coach got fired. So uh, that's the angle that they're in, uh, investigating. They've made it pretty clear that uh, it cannot be a, an accident. It was somebody who purposefully would have burned the cow coach is what uh, the police currently is uh, believing. In fact, uh, a CCT visual is also being uh, analyzed right now because uh, that was a CCT visual that was recorded uh, on the camera that was installed in the nearby go down there. So based on that, in that visual, a man can be seen uh, going to the, you know, go, uh, going inside the train that was uh, stopped there at Kanu railway station and going inside the train. So uh, the investigation currently is based on it, but again, that visual is, needs to be verified by the police because they're saying that uh, it was not rec it was just recorded in the go down. It could be anybody. We need to understand whether uh, there's any link with that person in the visual. Also, uh, we are understanding that before uh, burning this compartment, uh, the if it was somebody involved in it, that person has actually caused a lot of damage inside the train before actually put, uh, burning the compartment. So uh, what was the reason behind it? That's also being analyzed. Now the forensic department is at the spot. Uh, they're collecting details and the Kanu City Police Commission and the Railway Police who is in charge of the investigation will also be collecting details from the spot. Okay, so they're collecting details uh, at the moment, but anything further should be that you're learning as far as this individual who was caught on CCTV going into the train compartment with what looked like a can in his hand? Uh, well, exactly. Now, if we look at the Kannur, uh, if the Koriko train arson case, in that particular case also, the person was seen coming inside a compartment, randomly entering a compartment uh, with a can of petrol in his hand. So, uh, if if the, if, it, if the CCTV visuals clearly show it's a can in his hand, then that, there could be a likely link between both the cases, what the police is currently looking into. Uh, but again, uh, the Koriko train arson case has been, uh, uh, what the Kerala police had found out was that uh, the Sh uh, Shahrukh Sethi, the accused in the case, was uh, highly radicalized. So is there any link, is there a larger conspiracy or a larger nexus behind this? Uh, because the investigation is currently under the NIA. We're hearing that the NIA might also... Uh, collect details from the railway police regarding this incident to investigate as to whether there's any link as of now. Uh, but again, uh, it was late at night. What is actually going on behind this is something uh, the police is saying that they can reveal only after further investigation. But to an extent, they have confirmed that somebody was involved. It was not an accident. It was involved. Is what right now we are learning. Uh, Shabhi, where was this CCTV footage from where this man is seen entering the train with a, what looked like an oil can? Was this from Kanu railway station or from a little earlier? Uh, well, uh, this was from Kanu railway station itself. In fact, okay. the uh, train was stopped right after its journey from Alapura to Kanu. And uh, it ended in Kanur around 11.30 and uh, uh, around 1.30 is what we are understanding. This person is seen entering the train. In fact, uh, this was recorded in a go-down that was just opposite to the train that was passing uh, near the railway track. Okay. So uh, that is why around that time somebody was entering the train. It could be the person behind this is what the assumption is. But right now, uh, the police has said like it's not verified. We need to wait and see if this is the person. Because earlier also, in Koriko train arson also, uh, there was a CCT visual that was recorded. The investigation initially was based on that. But later on, it was revealed that that was not the uh, accused in the case. So the police is saying, let's verify this. Uh, but right now, the investigation is definitely based on this particular person who entered uh, the train through a railway track inside the train. 
uh, and which was caught by the CCTV uh, that was installed in a go-down nearby. Okay, it should be more there tracking all those uh, developments, uh, very importantly stating that there's a possibility. We don't have an official confirmation, but the NIA could also seek details from the railway police uh, as far as this incident is concerned, only to see if there is any sort of link between this incident and the Koi Code train arson cases where, well, in fact, where one individual, Shahrukh Sefi, was arrested. He is now being interrogated by the NIA. They found him to be heavily radicalized because of which he, in fact, set this Koi Code train compartment of fire that claimed the lives of three innocent people. Shubhi Mol is uh, live with us still. She's uh, joining us with more details on this. Uh, Shubhi, you're of course importantly stating that the NI could also seek uh, details of it. But so far, uh, they've not been able to establish any sort of direct uh, link between the two? Uh, no problem. In fact, right now they've not established any link because, uh, like, like I said, the investigation has just started. The railway police have registered a case. And uh, now the officials, the higher officials are likely to visit the spot and see what, you know, to find if there's any link regarding uh, both the incidents. Because uh, there are two points that they're deeply looking into. One is it's the same train, uh, same Alapura to Kanur Express train. And the NI right now is investigating the case after uh, he was caught from uh, Ratnagiri in Maharashtra. Shahrukh says he was caught from Ratnagiri in Maharashtra. And after that, uh, they, he was, uh, the Kerala police had revealed that he was highly radicalized. There were videos that was recovered from his phone which shows he was into radicalization. So uh, he clearly had his motive with what, but who was behind him because he was coming from Delhi, randomly choosing a train in uh, Kerala, in Co Kerala's code code was something that was not very convincing for the police. So that was the angle that we're looking into uh, during the earlier investigation. But right now, the NIA is, from what we're understanding from our sources, the NIA is collected certain details or might be collecting more details very soon and uh, to establish if there's any link as they're right now investigating the uh, code code arson case. Okay, Shubhi Mool, they're tracking very closely all those uh, developments, uh, which is uh, a matter of investigation at the moment. That investigation is currently ongoing in order to see if it was just a coincidence uh, that the same train which in fact came out of attack in Koi Code is in fact... Uh, at the center of the strain fire incident in Kannur as well or whether there is a very serious link that needs to be thoroughly and deeply investigated.